new documentary titled Chris Brown, A History of Violence has exposed Chris Brown for allegedly sexually assaulting multiple women. In the film, one victim, who was under the pseudonym of Jane Doe, claimed the Ranby star drugged and raped her in 2020 while on Sean Diddy Combs yacht in Miami. Even coming forward as a Jane Doe, some people still found out who I was, the woman began, referencing how she received death threats following the incident. Coming forward with this now, I just hope I can shed light on what really happened. Doe explained that she was pursuing her dancing career in LA when she and a friend took a trip to Miami in December 2020. She noted that on December 30th, she was invited to a boat owned by the music mogul, who was charged with racketeering conspiracy, as trafficking by force, fraud or coercion and transportation, to engage in prostitution in September. When Doe realized Brown was at the party, she thought it was a sign and was hopeful he could maybe be able to help me or guide me or give me some advice. The dancer recalled, we had talked, and he had handed me a drink. I'm not even sure. This is when my memory starts getting a little bit weird. I don't remember if I saw him pour it, but I just drank it and he just hands me another drink. As I'm standing there, I did start to feel tired and my body was feeling a little heavy. Doe was then led into the bedroom by Brown, who allegedly took advantage of her. I remember I did lay back and I'm like, why can't I get up? Next thing I know, he was on top of me, and I couldn't move and I said no, and then I felt him. Next thing I knew, he was inside me, to emotionally shared, adding that Brown allegedly finished inside of her. I was so disgusted. Doe noted that Brown then texted himself off of her phone. Most girls, I think, would be happy. I didn't want that. This is not what I wanted, she stated. Following the incident, Doe said she continued to speak with Brown to get more clarity. She explained that she did not register that the situation was sexual assault until receiving therapy. I know it for a fact. Instead of telling myself that it wasn't, it was rape, she said. A legal team then reached out to help Doe build a case, however, it was dismissed without prejudice in 2022, with the judge citing lack of prosecution. Additionally, police found the text messages between the duo, which led lawyers to drop her case, according to Rolling Stone. According to People, one of Doe's lawyers, Ariel Mitchell Kidd, is representing her again despite their previous lack of success. I adore my client and I believe what happened to her is 100% true. I feel that I failed her as an attorney because I couldn't make her comfortable enough with me in such a short period of time where she felt 100% comfortable being forthcoming with me, the legal mind stated. In the documentary, Brown's lawyers claim Doe's story is false.